leveraging, crying, say, please get on the air here at HSN. Everything in this show is in sellout quantities. Everything in this show is brand new. Now, Kitchen HQ, if you watch us at, uh, at all, is not a new name to you. Um, actually, they are our proprietary brand. They do things just for us. This is a pan that was built by request, and I don't care if it's Dutch baby pancakes or fajitas or your tortillas or even doing a beautiful sear on a steak. This is a restaurant-grade cast iron, grandma's friend. It is a beautiful griddle pan. I'm telling you, like a planchette and things like that, like a rolled black top uh, for doing hamburgers. That price is unbelievable. Sellout quantities. In fact, Angela... Oh, you're kidding. They're just a little over a 1, thousand. 1,400 of these, that's it. See what I told you? Everything on this show is in sellout quantities. Speaking of sellout quantities, it has been years since we have had Blend Tech on the air. I'm a Blend Tech user, and by the way, I'm not the only one. If you go to a juice bar, if you go to a smoothie bar, if you go to a restaurant, chances are they are using a blend tech. Do you recognize this square jar, jar design? Now, a lot of people are copying that, but they invented that, and that's what they use at the smoothie bars. Plus, they invented or created this unique blade design that's not only easier to clean, I'm telling you, this thing could grind concrete. The power is unbelievable. It is back, and I got to tell you, this is the only show. It is your soup maker. It's your juicer. It is your ice crusher. It's your margarita maker. And Angela, what do I have, 500 only? I have 550 of these, that's it. Every single one of these, all these items in this show are gonna sell out with me. Speaking of sell out though, um, this is something I have been dreaming of because I'm just gonna tell you, I am, I drink Diet Coke like it's my job. <laughs> I love soda. I love soda. I love soda. I love soda. I know I'm not supposed to be doing it for a lot of different reasons. First of all, if this isn't the most fun in your kitchen, then send it back. Speaking of fun, here's my friend Kiri Maletto. How are you? That's Looking so gorgeous good. and green. Thank you. Soda Stream, which I feel like Adam Freeman should be here. This is this is <laughs> not like um uh, this is like the hidden secret of the United Kingdom. And uh, right. if you no, but it's serious. Like yeah. if, if you go globally, Soda Stream is a global phenomenon. And I don't care if you like carbonated waters like I do because I also buy them individually. I buy them in the big jugs. I buy them in the individual cans. Or if you're trying to do a healthier alternative to your canned soda, carbonation, carbonation, carbonation all day. No plugs, no wires, no installation. Just fun. Just fizz. I just say fizz. Just, fizz it, just baby. the fizz. Uh, you know, uh, yes. And, and when you just saw me meeting you, I had it in my arms and I was actually taking tap water and making it sparkling water while I was walking. So what I love about this machine, first and foremost, no batteries, no plugs. The second thing I love about it, this is the art. I wanna introduce you to the art. For those of you who have known and seen me with SodaStream here since like 2012 or so, I think, third, I don't know, it's been, been a while. long time. You know that the cool thing about this is you can take it anywhere, but this machine, is so beautiful. Of all the machines I've done, I'm gonna oh, start yeah. right there. The art is the most sleek, the one that's gonna be really, like you're gonna be proud of it on your countertop yeah. or in your bar area. And what I really love about the feature is this, this little bar on the side that you saw me pressing down. And here, here's my joke. I said to John Florell, I'm gonna make a John Florell joke. Um, I feel like this is like when you play the um, in the casino, the slots. Yes. But you win every time with this <laughs> one. Too. There's my joke for you. You win every time with this one. You do, Carrie. Let me just show yeah. them what we have in choices. And then I'd love for you to see that quantity left. So remember, the famous, the one of a kind. There are a lot of people who have tried to imitate it. Global phenomenon, the soda stream. Not a knockoff, not a pretend. With no, So we have, what, 600 available? So 681 of that, Angela, which, how many of the white? We have 242 in the white only, and then of course we have the black. Now, so the secret is in the system. So you get this great quick to connect cylinder. And by the way, it's easier to connect than ever before. No plugs, no wires, no plumbing, nothing. You get two of your reusable carbonating bottles. That's where you're gonna make the fizz. That's where you're gonna do root beers. That's where you can do sparkling sodas. That's where you can do, if you are trying to have a dry January, um, an alcohol-free January, you don't miss the alcohol because whether it's the fizz or the flavor, 
It's gonna fool your taste buds with no aspartame, none of the nasties, none of the high fructose uh, corn syrup, none of the stuff you don't want. And then, because we love you, and it's been years since we've had Soda Stream on the air, you're getting six of your bubbly drops. Oh yeah, 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 you know that name. Uh-huh, I buy that name. How about your cherry bubbly, your mango, your lime, your pink grapefruit, uh, your strawberry, and your blackberry. If you buy these in the cans, like I do, Carrie, the thing is, it's not only saving me money, it's the flavor, it's none of the nasties, and it's Correct. just fun and fizz. Oh my gosh, yes. And each one of these bottles, by the way, so I did the math for you. Yeah, thank you. Each one of these bottles will do 12 of these. So if you're Whoa. talking about just, you want an essence, a little flavor, that's what bubbly is. So if you've been going crazy at the stores buying all of those <laughs> flavored waters, this is what you're doing, but you're getting all those cans, you're getting all those bottles, you have to lug them, you have to store them, you have to figure out what to do with them afterwards. This is gonna be putting a nice machine on your countertop and you get 12 liters out of this or with the six that you're getting in the yeah. package, 216 cans that you'll be able Whoa. to make. So I call this the party in the box. So you don't have to go buy anything. You don't have to get anything. Everything works right out of the box. Let me break it down how easy it is to do. So first things first, and this is my first tip for you. Fill your bottles, put them in the fridge. Cold water fizzes better. So make sure that oh, when you first get this tip. home, yeah, clean it out, get this in the, in the fridge. You're gonna see a line here. So that's the fill line. Fill your water to that line. And one thing I wanna point out before we get started, and you'll see me kind of talk about this in a minute, the lids have silicone all around them. So when we're done making, uh, you know, whatever it is, a sparkling water, or if we flavor it or anything else, that silicone means you don't have it on your two liter. You don't have it on your can. True. Oh, that yes. means we're gonna lock in that fizz oh, so true. that you can drink this over the course of a day or two or whatever it is. Right. So we're going to take this off. We're going to come to the machine. It has what's called a snap lock feature. So that's where this just moves back and forth like this. You want it in the out position. We're going to take the bottle. It slides right up. You push and back. Boom. And push that's and it. Let me just pop, snap and lock. Snap. And that's it. And once that's in place, you'll have like a little space down below. That's how you know you got it just right. Now, here we go. We're going to play the slots, everybody. And here we go. Boop. And every time we Look do this. that, watch what's happening. Oh, it's magic. Oh, my god. This could be water from your fridge. This can be water from your sink. Tap this can water. be anywhere Whatever. you want it. Wherever. I have now, if I wanted to stop there, that's kind of a light-ish sparkle. I went a little, probably like, th I did about three or four. If you like a lot of fizz, though, oh, I yeah. know you do. You know I do. I'm going five. Okay, and then you just pull oh, it girl, out. Oh, look at that. That's it, we're done. If I wanted to stop there, I could, and say that's it, I just wanna drink yeah. sparkling water, or I can do infusions all day long. Actually, this is the glass I wanna fill right here. So here, I have my ice, I have my fruit, and watch as I fill <gasps> this. Ooh. This is the most refreshing, listen, a lot of you out there believe oh, that you that love soda, and you do love, do you know why you love soda? That right there. It's the bubble, I'll just it's tell you. It's the bubbles. In fact, you know what's so funny? Um, the, the Compare canned or, or uh, canned uh, sparkling water that Carrie brought in is the brand that I buy. And yeah. I'll tell you the reason I buy it, it has more bubbles than the other ones. Right. It, because there's another one from France and everything else. I'm very picky about my bubbles. Carrie knows <laughs> is a true story. Yeah. I'm so picky about my bubbles. I used to, when I used to go to restaurants, like if I ordered a mixed drink or I would bring my own canned sparkling water. It is a true story. They're like, what? I'm gonna be like, no, if you don't have it, I won't even say the name because everybody else would have the, the French one and I, th that one doesn't have enough bubbles for me. It puts you in control of the cal calories. Correct. It puts you in control of the chemicals. I'm just yes. gonna say it because if you like that carbonation, you like those bubbles, but you don't want the nasties, if you are trying to get on a healthier track, whether you're trying to get the carbonated beverages out of your life, just only because of the stuff they add, but you yeah. like the flavors, Here's the thing. We're getting you started with six different flavors, but then the world is your oyster. You can find Soda Stream, those little, you know, add-ons. Yes. You want to do your own cherry Coke. You want to do your own root beer. You want to do your own little floats. I mean, you can do all of that, right, Carrie? We have over 30 flavors that we actually have at Soda Stream, so you'll find those out and about. Yeah. Um, here, I'm actually going to take this as a cherry cola. So what happens is you're going to take it's about a cap full of that if you get ours. And you can make your own as well. And I actually just saw a company that's doing um, flavors for hard seltzer. So if you really want to make your own hard seltzer. So here's how you flavor that sparkling water. It's, it's magic Genius. every single time. Boom. Done. You're never going to waste soda anymore. You're never going to have open cans and bottles everywhere. I've got to show you this because yeah. this is the reality. If you don't have a soda stream, 
you're doing this at the store. <laughs> You put him in the cart, you put him in the car, you put him in the yeah. house. You maybe have a second fridge where you're putting your cans and your bottles. That's crazy. It's and then insane. if you're having a party and then it's cleaning up afterwards or oh, yeah. finding out how much was wasted, this never gets wasted. Watch, I close this, because you, you saw me yep. put the syrup in there, right? Do you hear that? Yes. Every single time you'll hear it again because of that silicone on that cap that I was talking to you about. So we've even thought about it right even down to the caps that we're using. The bottle you're getting with the machine, dishwasher safe. You're getting an extra bottle. That one is not dishwasher safe, but it's an extra bottle. So if you wanna run around town with it, you have that. You're also, again, the six bubblies that you're getting. Yep. They result, oh, we have to do this. You gotta do a float. In 216 cans. Okay, so. we are very busy. And just so you understand, the white, the white, the white, there are a little over 200 of the white. This is back for the first time in a long time at HSN. It's a five pay flex pay weekend. Get it at home, the price, everything. It make, we're making it hard to say no to this. And with a 30 day unconditional money back guarantee, if you don't love it, you send it back, no questions asked. So Carrie, it's that simple, right? So you just it. put it in. You put it in, remember, fill the water to the line make sure the water's cold snap lock then I'm pressing this like this and I go as much as I want yes. now each carbonator before we leave together and I, I hope we get time for cocktails because hello know. but all right let me go to the back of the machine this is how you put your carbonator in so the back just pulls right off this is the call this is so cool this is our easy um connect so you pop it in just like that and you just Boom. go like that, because back in the day, you used to have to screw them yes, in, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. It would take a minute, and people would get a little like, oh man, am I doing this right? You can't mess this up, it's a quick connect. That's so. easier than the batteries and the remote for my TV. Yeah. No, it is. And each one of those carbonators, We'll do 60 of these, six, 60, zero. 60. And it's coming with. So well, that's what I say, it's the party in the box. If you wanna buy this for yourself and your family, if you wanna buy this for someone you know in their family, if you want to you know, buy it for the kids or grandkids yeah, coming over. Absolutely. Yes. I made a okay. little teeny uh, cocktail. I did a post on Facebook uh, okay. a little bit earlier, and I actually did it with the soda, soda stream. So you can go. even take, so if you're doing a dry January, I know that's what a lot of us do. I know my friend Callie does that. As you say that, I'm opening the liquor. <laughs> exactly. Sorry. But, but you could, what I did is just like a little juice and then added a little bit, you know, of carbonated water from the soda stream. But oh, what are you, it's like a little I'm making champagne. An I'm making an Aperol spritz. So it's Prosecco, okay. and then you have your, um, your Prosecco, your Aperol, and then you just add some soda water. Nice. And soda water is the, um, here we go, and then we just put an orange. Aperol Pretty. spritz is in my house all the time. I can do a lemon drop. I can do uh, gin fizzes during the holidays. I can do so many drinks to use soda water. It's true. But you know what? Even if you're just, like I said, if you only did carbonated water, it will pay for itself. Yes. But I'll just say it. The name is even Soda Stream. The truth of the matter is, if you're like me, and even my doctor said, she, he, he, he scolds me every time I see, he sees me. He's like... I know, I've told you a hundred different times to get the soda out, to get the soda out, to get the soda out. And yeah, I do a diet soda, but th there's stuff in there he doesn't want me drinking. Yeah. I mean, if you watch even YouTube videos, sometimes they take soda and they use it to clean like battery terminals and things like that. <laughs> no, I'm not, you know, and I'm not being weird about this, but you know, read the back of a can of, of soda, but I love, love, love that carbonation. And I can tell you for a fact, it's not like I'm so addicted to, yeah, I like the flavor, but I gotta be honest, it's the bubbles. Yeah. So now it puts you in control. Right. We're doing a package no one else is doing. It's back and only 600 to go around. Carrie, what a treat. Thank you. It's always Aww. fun to be here with us. Listen, have fun, get creative. The reason we call it the art, so that you become the artist. And that's what this is all about. And once you have it on the counter, it never right. leaves, right? It's Absolutely. like just too fun. No, so. it's true. It's time to get yours. We've been waiting to get these back. Only yeah. 200 to go around in that white. Carrie, thank you. Thank you very much. Looking gorgeous and green. Thank you very much. Love those earrings. I'll steal them. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, if you want a little juice for that carbonated water, uh, this is also from our Kitchen HQ family uh, for only $16.95. All right, we're scooting along. Speaking of our Kitchen HQ family, now remember, Blendtec is back in, in sellout quantities at the end of this show. Kitchen HQ is a brand that is exclusive here at HSN. And basically, we take very expensive concepts and then we make them for you this is something by the way 
Have you met my friend John Florell, a force, a maniac in the kitchen? <laughs> Thank you. I mean that only in the most Thank complimentary you know. way. I took it that way. Thank uh, you. Basically, <laughs> this is like have diner will travel. Because yes. when I think of the best, you know, like flat top eggs, flat top steaks, right. flat top hamburgers, breakfast, breakfast, breakfast burgers, all day. Breakfast. Burgers. You know what it is? Huh. To me, it's a skillet for your stovetop. Yes. Or even for your outdoor grill. Yep. If you don't have a skillet outside, this is the perfect pan. It's a 12 inch pan. It's got the handles on either side and it's safe up to 700 degrees. Okay, okay? say that again, a campfire. This fire. is cast iron <laughs> that you can put over an open flame fire. I mean, if you have a, a grate right. over the fire, you can cook right over an open fire on your grill. It's oven safe. Use it on any stove top, yep. even induction. And I've got my hash browns going here. I throw the, threw some eggs in there. I'm gonna turn that down and let it set. So I induction so burner, you. you got a lot Listen, to do. If you use this pan for nothing more than paella, yeah. it's the perfect pan. 12 inches, it's got a shallow depth, so it's perfect for right. paella. It it's is. It's great for those giant, uh, maybe brownies or a giant chocolate chip cookie. Right. But I love it for pizza. I've got one in the oven here right now. I got to show you this because this is an absolute a must for pizza on the grill, oh, well, but you know or what? you can do it in the oven. But this is what the restaurants do, John. Yes, that looks in like, cast iron. so they do it in cast iron. And I don't care if and it's a, you know, you a pizza or if it's hamburgers, this is what they bring to the table. Look, look at this. Wow. I mean, that comes out of there. That is a beautiful crust on that pizza. And you can do homemade pizzas. You can do frozen pizzas on here and, and like juice it up with whatever you like. Okay. It's true. Put your own veggies and meats and whatever it is. And cheeses you get that, that you like sizzle. Over the top. You get yes. that sizzle because yes. you can get it. it, it, it do you realize when John said, I'm going to say it again, temperatures up to 700, up to 700 degrees. degrees. And you can see I just put a couple of sticks of butter in here. Nice. And this is super, super super hot grill or griddle oh, wow. right now. I gotta get and the this. reason I'm doing this is to show you how hot this will work. Okay, now hopefully we don't set up any fire alarms in here. Uh, listen, wouldn't, be the, wouldn't be the first time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, let me grab some of this garlic because we're gonna show you, you know the what? best you... steak. Oh geez, it did. How did I know that? There are only 1,400 of them. Alarms are going <laughs> off you know everywhere. <laughs> it, it smells great. <laughs> yes, it does. And here, we're going to throw some garlic. We're we'll going to smash some garlic, put that in here. We'll but throw you know some what? rosemary in here. I think that's an excellent point, though, because this pan gets hotter it than gets what so we normally have to offer. So here's the thing. You can do caramelized onions in seconds. Oh, the sear on a steak. The sear on the steak is going to be absolutely amazing. And I'll, I got to tell you, the best part about this is you don't have to worry about how hot this pan gets, okay? Now, granted, that was a little hot, okay? Listen, I <laughs> think you're I'm hot. I'm sitting over here watching all this stuff going on we've, around me. We've never been able to use the exhaust <laughs> fan on the kitchen set until now. Really? And well, look at this here. We're going to do some salt and pepper. We're going to keep this going. Hey, listen, it's music to my ears. It is. Really is. But you know what? It, it's I, well, well, John and I always have fun with John. Look, look, at, that. <laughs> look at that even browning. And the sear that you get is oh, unbelievable. John. You saw how fast that happens when you're using cast iron. And now I can flip this over. We can take a spoon. We can take some of that beautiful butter. We can baste our steaks with this. Put a couple of rosemary uh, st stems on here. And we're going to take this straight to the oven. Nice. Turn this down. Hey, and, John. Here's Here's what we're gonna do after we're gonna do a little break just so that we can shut the fire alarm oh, off. Okay. Uh, and then Angela, we can come back and finish finish. So we're gonna come back and finish the presentation. Woo, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> Sunday fun day. With the power of HP from HSN, reinvent how you work, how you play, how you live. Technology that makes life better for everyone, everywhere, and deals designed for every budget. HP on HSN and at hsn.com. We're making bigger even better with our supersize values, and they're available only at HSN. Supersize values are based on the price per ounce of the same item in a smaller size. However, they do not reflect a price at which HSN would sell the item. Have questions? Call us at 1-800-284-3900. Food is my obsession. Cooking is my life. And with HSN.com, it's never been easier to turn a boring dish into BAM. Discover online cooking demonstrations to help you spice it up in the kitchen. 
I'll teach you how to become a better chef with my key cooking tools. And how to create incredible, tasty meals full of flavor. Who wouldn't love you for that? Explore, watch, and shop all of our top chefs at hsn.com. Bam! Sorry, Emerald. Shopping is easier than ever with the HSN app. Turn on notifications to get shipping updates, exclusive offers, and alerts on your favorite products sent straight to your phone. Now you can share all your fabulous finds with your friends right from the app through Facebook, text, and more. Save your favorite products all in one place. See it, heart it, save it. Download the app for Apple or Android devices by searching HSN app on hsn.com. the hottest guest in the kitchen studio. This is John Florell, and you can hear that's music to our ears. That's right. Because we have, this gets hotter than any other griddle it does. I've and ever sold. I gotta tell you, you can use this on any cooktop, in the oven, on the grill. It's coated, okay? It's got a special coating, so you don't need to season it. It's rust resistant. It is dishwasher safe. We do yeah. recommend hand yeah, washing on I it. I would. But yeah. I gotta tell you, you'll never have to worry about uh, uh, seasoning seasoning this or anything, this is generational cookware. You this bet. is solid oh, cast yeah. iron. Okay? Oh yeah. It's heavy. So and what this I just is, did, this is going on the this. campfire. What are you doing? Uh, I just I just put some pancake mix together. Okay. Okay. I heated up the pan and we poured it in here for a Dutch baby. Nice. All right. Now this is so simple to do. If you've got guests coming over and you want to have some fun with them, yep. you can make your own Dutch baby at oh, home. Get Let me, the oven? I've got, I, I, I've actually got one in the oven oh, right you? now. Okay. Yeah, you mind opening that up you for me? You got it, my friend. I'm going to take one out and put okay. this other one in. Nice. And oh, those steaks smell fantastic. Oh, I know. Woo! Look at this. I mean, nice. this is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to turn this stove top off so we don't uh, scorch anything. But take a look at this. Now you can have, let me put this you one in. Put that one in okay. and I got to show you the fun that you can have because with a Dutch baby if you've never done one at home this is the perfect pan for it, it. it's a 12 inch circular pan that you can have so much fun with now you can go and just go ahead and throw your berries on here if it's right now it's berry season everybody loving oh, these berries look at this, I've John. got some raspberries but I've look got at some that even browning and it does perfect browning you get that nice crispy crunchy side oh that's and beautiful I can, it just just lifts right out of there. Gorgeous. But when you pull it out, it'll be all puffed up. As soon as it hits the cold air in the in the kitchen, it it just settles back down. But you can add all this to it and then Woo! take a look at this. I mean, you want to talk about the perfect breakfast? Oh, that's I gorgeous. Mean, <laughs> the perfect little that's gorgeous. breakfast dessert. Add a little powdered sugar. And then what I love, you can use your own preserves if you like. Or <laughs> I just love pouring syrup. I right would put over the maple syrup on a maple shoe syrup. and eat it. I love <laughs> maple syrup. Hey, and by the way, thank you guys for the this is a perfect pan. It, for this. It's perfect. But you know what? The big thing is, and I, I always have fun with John. But do you understand? This gets hotter than any other pan I think I've ever sold on right. the air here at HSN. Seven hundred degrees. And, and why do you want that? When you go to your favorite diner or the food it's trucks, it's that perfect it's, sear. You know how they yes. have like those rolled cast iron or you know those you know uh, flat top grills. If this is not the best hamburger. The best oh, yeah. steak, the best Burgers eggs. are the best on if this. If you only did steak or, on this, it would pay for itself. How about itself. this? Pork chops, those yeah. big, thick, juicy pork chops. You can fajitas, hear that sizzle. Fajitas. Tortillas. I'll tell you, you and again, them. it's the best paella pan. It is. Because you can do more than one thing. I mean, it's so much fun. And I love this, too, because yeah. most cast iron skillets or cookware of, uh, of any kind, you cannot use, the, you know, the old style cast oh, right, iron. Right, right, right. You can't put anything acidic in it because it will ruin it. Yeah, that's true. Right? Well, with our cast iron, because of that special finish, not only does it help it a little bit, it, it makes it more nonstick, super easy to clean up. But I can take, here, I can add my ingredients right now. Listen to that I'm gonna, sizzle, I'm going to throw some onions in here, and I'm going to put some apples in here. And just to get this going, here, let me spread this out a yeah. little bit. Oh, now watch this. Watch this. Here's my secret. Yep. Apple juice. <gasps> now, nice. you would not ever do this in a normal cast iron ever. skillet. So it comes pre-seasoned. 
So it comes pre-seasoned. Pre it's it, and it's rust resistant, so you never have to worry about this right. rusting like normal cast iron. And you get that perfect, beautiful sear that you expect. Look at that. I mean, look how quick that happened. I mean, I just placed those down on there. I'm going to flip these, and we're going to let those go nice. with the apples. Well, the, here's the thing, though. We have only 1,400 to go around. This whole weekend has been about fresh new finds and debuts. Listen, I've been here for almost 30 years. I, John, I think I've known you for almost 30 yeah. years. No, seriously, because John we've been is around a while. right. It's not our first rodeo. For me, that was a first. I have never had a pan that gets this hot. Yep. And you know what? That's saying something. It's not that I haven't sold other great pans. We it's say, oh, 350 degrees, right. 450 degrees. Why do you want this? If you want to replicate a diner, if you want to replicate a you know a food truck experience in your home, but if you're like someone like me, a you don't have a lot of room. I don't have enough room for like one of those big old flat tops and things right. like that. I love the flavor though, because part of it is also how it gets better with time. Now the we do. The more you use the it, the, use better, it, the better the cooking better gets. It gets it, once right? you use cast iron oh, yeah. for the first time. It's like it's it's that old school kind of like you know that that country flair, that country it flavor. Is. And just here, take a look at this. But you know what? I mean, this is what they bring to the table. You know very well whether it's you know your favorite you know restaurant. Oh, you can oh, see oh. how evenly it's brown. It puffs up beautifully because of how it conducts heat. Got a strawberry stuck yeah, under uh, there. Look at that. Yeah, <laughs> right. right. A runaway, a drive-by <laughs> strawberry. Yeah, I know. But when you see the pizzas or the pizzukis, you know, those yes. big chocolate chip cookies, as they call them, when you see that sear on the pork chops, uh, John, I don't know, we've only got two minutes. Let's talk, you even wiped it out, but uh, those steaks yes. are smelling fantastic. The steaks are probably really close to being done right now. I know, I was going right to say, they got to be pretty close. And, but I got to tell you, for... for uh, all around cooking, whether you're baking in this, you may be wanting to do a, a, a nice, beautiful uh, cornbread on the on the smoker. Yeah. Have you ever had smoked cornbread? I think I, I made that for oh, you. Oh, you time. did actually. Smoked uh, yes, cornbread. Yes. Oh, God, it's uh, great. It's the best on, yeah. on a smoker uh, or, or a pellet grill. I'll tell you what, in the, whether you're using this in the, on the grill, whether you're using it on a stove top or in the oven for baking, Excellent this point. is the most versatile Little ten, it's a 12 inch, basically a skillet without a handle. Right. It's got the handles on either side. It's the round pan yeah. from Kitchen HQ. And if, if you tried our other cookware, our other, our other cast iron from Kitchen HQ, this is a perfect addition to that. Again, breakfast, lunch, dinner, stove Dessert. top, oven. It doesn't matter whether it's induction, glass top, gas, it doesn't matter, yeah. electric. Uh, your barbecue grill over an open fire. If you're going camping, yes. it's a perfect camping grill. Your Kamado grill, your Traeger <laughs> grill, your little green egg, it doesn't matter. It's like, it's like turning your stove top into a griddle. It, it but really it, is. See, and that's my point. It's like, it's like you become the diner. Yes. You become the diner. And I don't care, metal utensils, uh, in my own opinion, you kind of use it like a, like a flat top, like you would at your favorite diner. Big thing is, and John, I don't know if we can show off those steaks because we've only got about uh, you know 60 what? I'll seconds. Pull those out for can you we right at least now. show how they caramelized and yeah, how they absolutely. browned? The thing is, we have just a little over 1,000, about 1,400 to go around. This is a new debut weekend. Listen to the sizzle, 700 degrees. Look at oh, that. Oh, come oh, on. Can you smell Look that? At Unbelievable. That. Booyah. Let me close this back up. I'm Andreas, this if, for if, you if you're looking for somebody to do the dishes or clean up, I will I will volunteer <laughs> to eat those steaks. And here's the best part. <laughs> when you're doing your steaks this way, those are two beautiful T-bones. Now you can add oh, your mushrooms. Oh, Johnny. You can add your onions. Do you know what they're telling you me? You can throw a little wine in there. I know you see that quantity pan. left, but we have hundreds of people calling. And if we take everybody into consideration, maybe a thousand and a thousand only, I don't know when this is going to be back. Boy, I will start a fire with you in the kitchen any day. Hey, we heat things up in this kitchen. Yes, you do. <laughs> See, normally the alarms are just going off when I arrive on campus. It's like, woo, woo. She's here, she's here, she's here. And what are we talking about dry January? I, I, I know. I'm waiting for February because there's only yeah. 28 days in February. <laughs> I'm doing dry February. That's because you're smarter yeah. than the average bear. <laughs> I love you, John. Oh, my God, you're such a hoot. All right, well, that is a first. I'm putting that in my host uh, biography. Nice. Uh, anyway, don't hang up about a 1,000 only on that Kitchen HQ. It's really like a flat top, you know, like the diners have. I can't believe we're doing that price. All right, hey, don't forget, go to hsn.com, and you'll see lots of great kitchen items. Uh, in fact, we always do an unconditional 30-day return policy, even on our food, which you might not realize, uh, or even on wine. Bottom of the barrel uh, guarantee? 
Anyone? All right, welcome into HSN. I'm Shannon, and if I seem especially enthusiastic, this is a show with not only sellout quantities, I know a lot of you are still calling on like that planchette, that, you know, flat top grill that just happens to double as a griddle from uh, Kitchen HQ. This is another brand I have been begging them to get back on the air. In fact, it's been so long since we had it on the air, we don't even have any additional support. We used to have like the, the factory footage because it's made in America, and we're talking about a warranty that is better than your car. What is it? This is the blender that all other blenders wish they were when they grew up. It is the professional's choice, and that is Blendtec. They are an American success story. They're really like a family concept, but the most important thing to me is this is the last blender you're ever gonna need, but it's more than a blender. It's a soup maker. It's an ice crusher. You can grind meat with this. You can puree, you know, baby food, make margaritas, do snow cones. There's even a blender button, so brownies and cakes all day, easy soup button, most powerful in history. Choose the red, choose the black. You also get the on-the-go size in addition to the people who invented the square blender. She's back. K -k 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 Casey. Uh, it is... <laughs> Guess what else is back? She, she's so hot, she doesn't even have to do anything warm. Which, by the way, you can make soup in this. Yes, you but, can. See, welcome back. Yeah, oh we, my gosh. Talk about a re-debut. Uh, yes, it's been three years. It's been three years. Casey, okay, so we can't assume... <laughs> we can't, we can't make this stuff up. People always ask me if it's live television. Yes, it is. It, it is. It's a hint, Smokey. It, it, it is. Uh, I, I will say this, Casey. If people have not heard the blend yeah. tech story, power, power, power. Uh, Dan is my director today. There's even a great shot of, of the control panel because it's basically like eight appliances in one. But let's talk about the number one reason people get this. Yeah, the number one reason is because this is your all-in-one kitchen appliance. It is. It is so super powerful. Shannon, let me tell you, Blendtec invented the square jar. This is the total blender because it totally does it all. Now, it does. let me show you right out of the gate something that will absolutely impress you. And there's no way your blender at home can do this unless it's a Blendtec. Right. I've got grapes. I've got kale. I am putting in whole chunks even of, with the seeds in the even cantaloupe with the seed. let me get some apple in there with the peel strawberry i've got the greens on my strawberry why not it's a blendtec blender you know when tom dixon invented blendtec blenders he did it because he got a shoddy blender for his wedding back in the 70s or the, by the way <laughs> ice hey here's something that they're not doing no liquid. Zero if, liquid. If you've seen other blender demonstrations when they do their green juices, now here it's one button, right? One button. So six pre-programmed right. settings. I'm going to press the one over here that has whole juice. So okay. let's talk about some of the differences here with Blendtec. First okay. of all, where am I? I'm nowhere even near the blender. I stepped away with Shannon. The Blendtec blender, you can see it, you can hear it. It's pre-programmed with a brain inside that goes, you know what? Casey press cold juice, I'm going to rev up right at the right amount of time. I'll rev back down to smooth things out. I'll rev back up to tackle that ice, crushing ice. Can your blender at home do it? If it can't, it's not a Blendtec. Now, you notice I don't have a stir stick or a nope, wand. No tamper. No tamper. Blendtec blenders are designed perfectly for commercial environments. They at are. A restaurant, a smoothie shop, they don't have time to sit there and go diddly diddly do. They wanted to do it on its own, right? No diddly diddly do. No diddly do. diddly diddly do. Now take a look in front here, down below, right below what you're seeing here, it's got a countdown. So in seven seconds, five seconds, four, you know you're gonna get that perfect result. Now with a traditional juicer, you take out the fiber, right? You That's do. the pulp. I can't think Because that's of, where all the nutrients are. That's where the nutrients are. And when is, when's the last time a healthcare professional said, you know what, you need, Shannon, less fiber. No one has ever said that. <laughs> said no one. <laughs> this is perfect for foodies, for gourmets. Look at that. For moms, dads, grandparents, athletes. Now, what didn't come out of there? Lumps, yeah. stems, the fuzz on the cantaloupe. And you notice I gave you an itsy bitsy teeny weeny. Because you can. Yellow striped, not a bikini, oh, right. straw. But if you take a sip, yeah. you won't get clogged up with chunks and lumps. Unbelievable. Casey, I'm just gonna show them what they get Please again because you can hear me probably a little easier now. So two things are happening. And Angela, we've got how many of the red and how many of the black? In the, in the black, we have 330. 
in the red we have 220. So if you're doing your math, this is a relaunch of a brand that I am obsessed with, <laughs> yeah. but it could be the first and last earring mm -hmm. because there are just a couple of hundred, a little over 300, a little over 200, and that's it. Casey already said this, American brand, they invented the square, BPA, they, they invented this design. Yes, there are copycats out there, but this is what your juice bar, this is what your smoothie bar, this is what your restaurant is using to crush ice and make margaritas. They also have a unique blade design that Casey yep. are, is gonna talk about. And the other thing about this is, you're getting this wonderful locking lid. You saw us walk away from it. You don't have to worry about splatter. It has one touch control operation. It replaces your soup maker. It replaces your ice crusher. It replaces your margarita maker. It replaces your juicer because it's better. It replaces even like, you know, your little uh, hand mixer because there's a blending function on there. And then you're also getting the on the go, this great um, kind of, you know, nutrient on the go uh, canister. It goes Go jar. The, the go jar. So because what are we doing time. next, Casey? So what are the top New Year's resolutions? Eat better, lose weight, and exercise every single year. So this blend tech configuration is going to get the job done for you because you will eat better when you're making things at home fresh and not getting prepackaged food. So here's that go jar. So essentially you're getting two blenders. Right. This has its own blade. Oh, that's true. Inside. So no, you're getting two separate blenders, yeah. the jar, the four sided jar and the micronizer that's right. albeit not as powerful as that big kahuna of a blade that we're going to take a look at but it screws right into place yep. and then I can press the smoothie button and now my little go jar starts to emulsify and blend and create it also comes with a lid so you can take this lid and grab and go no. Now, as the blend tech does this, the thing that's really important that you understand, and thank you for showing that little countdown and the little uh, cheat sheet. Yeah. I have owned, and I do actually mm. still own, that other blender. And I'm, I promise you this is not to put shame in their game. Yeah. It was a little too complicated for me. It was, no, <laughs> yeah. but it was, it was designed for professional chefs. It yes. really was. Yes. Because um, there's like a lever, and you got to turn this little thing. And, and you then need you to know tamp. what you're doing. You do. And I'm also, I'm also, I love to cook, but I'm a lazy cook. <laughs> yes. I like little cheat sheets sheet buttons. That's why I love the popcorn function on my microwave. You know, that's why I love the, you know. I don't want to think. We exactly. do enough thinking all day. I, I, I don't know how long the baked potato takes. I just hit the baked potato button. Exactly. So exactly. you don't worry about tampers or levers or up and down. Look at and that. Then all you do is you pop the top off and then it's called a go jar for a reason. It will fit into the little cup holder in your right. car. And then you can unscrew the lid that is attached so you don't lose it. And now you just chug a lug a lug and you've got your healthy protein smoothie, take it to the gym, yeah. whatever you want to do. And so by the there's way, another resolution Casey done. Casey made a, a point for you that I really want you to take note of. When you go even to the juice bar, part of the reason they give you a straw that's the side of a, 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 a ditch <laughs> is, you know, like, or, or like the, the drainage like ditches. A bubble, like a bubble tea straw, <laughs> right? You know, like. Is because they, um, they're not able to do what Blendtec is going to do. So let's talk about, first of all, American made, there's a warranty that's yes. probably better than your car. <laughs> yeah. If you have seen a blender with a square carafe design, mm -hmm. This is actually where it all started, the exactly. OG. That's it. So Orem, Utah, it is nothing but families working hard to create this amazing Made in America product. Now, do not ever do this unless you have a Blendtec blender, because let me show you something really cool. Can you do this with your blender at home? This is a single wingtip piece of cold forged steel. Why is that important? I was important? just going to say, why is that important? Because let me ask you a question. If okay. you have a big block of ice, Shannon, and you take a sharp little razor to it, how long is it going to take you to blast that ice versus yeah. slamming it with a sledgehammer? For sure. If you have a sharp blade on your blender, it's making up for a weak motor. It is. And by the way, the other thing about that is, and this is my own personal opinion, mm -hmm. it's harder to clean. Yes. So this is easy to clean. Here's the thing. We are very, very busy. Angela, we've got about, what, five? 500 total. Okay, 540 total. Black is, we've got a few more of the black, a little over 300 of the black, and then a, a little over 200 of the red. We have been waiting for years for Blendtec to come back. You know that name, and I'll just tell you right now, Blendtec does sell for a lot more money elsewhere. Mm -hmm. um, we wanted to bring them back with a, in a big, big way. Let's talk about ice, because this is normally yes. the blender killer. When you see, you know, people always ask, can I do ice? 
I mean, this could practically grind concrete. It is, it's, it's so powerful. <laughs> Actually, I'm serious about that. Actually, the first viral videos I on remember. YouTube were Tom Dixon, the creator of Blendtec, golf balls, With golf iPhones, balls. rakes. He would just feed a rake. Now, yeah. please don't try that at home. But right. Just to tell you, that's what 15, uh, 1,650 watts of power does. Now, so I've got that ice crush button. In fact, they've taken it a step further and given you a little margarita icon. So if I hit the margarita icon, take a look at this ice, wow. Shannon. Wow. This is giving me a little bit of a reminder of where I just came from, the land of snow, Northwest <laughs> in Canada. See, I'm, I'm like an honorary Canadian, so <laughs> yeah. I can say that. I mean, so we, we flew Casey in from the Great White North. I mean, practically my hometown. But when we say snow cone maker, soup maker, margarita maker, juice extraction, keeping those nutrients in with more power, this is what, 1,500 watts, something 1560 like that? 1,560 watts 1560 of power. 1,560 watts. I'm just telling this? you, it could like power a car for crying out loud. Okay. I mean, chances are your lawnmower engine isn't as powerful. <laughs> no, I'm serious true. about this. Your lawnmower engine probably isn't as powerful as this. Let me put this into perspective. Okay. A little countertop blender yeah. that a lot of people love and go crazy for yeah. is generally speaking 250 watts of power. And this is 1,560. <laughs> 60 watts. watts of power. Why is that important? Because this is the same blender that the pros use. It is. You can also circumvent the pre-programmed settings. I'm going to press the margarita button because I'm not circumventing anything here. I want a great margarita. But you can start and stop it any time you like. And you also have the ability to power up and power down if that's something that you want to do also. So I'm going to add some more ice in here. And by the way, you don't even have to stop it to add more ice because there's a little lid here on the top that you could always pop open if that's what you want to do. So for those of you that are serious about incredible drinks, whether it's frozen wow. margaritas, and whether it's poolside patio, this will do it, it. It is. Hey, by the way, and, and Dan, if it's easier to do, we can do it on either one of these. But um, the key thing that I want to keep going back to that Casey is demonstrating is these shortcut keys. Yes. So the thing is, and I'm not, I, I promise you, I love that other blender too. I, I bought it at one point in my mm -hmm. life. It was like $600. It's a great blender, but it really was too, I, I, I actually gave it to somebody else because it, it was too hard for me to yeah. work. I mean, yeah. it, was, it was designed for chefs. This is the same power, in fact, probably more power than in your restaurant or professional restaurant. But you see these little quick keys? That's a little whisk. That's your brownie batter. That's So it's going to replace your mixer. That margarita that Casey just made, grind ice, grind meat for that matter. That is how powerful this is. You want to do your smoothies. You want to do ice cream with this. You could even turn cabbage into a cream sickle. This is that fresh juice, that green juice that Casey did. And if you heard it, we might do one more of those just so you can hear how it um actually d knows when to like tamper and pulse because you don't touch anything. And then that last button, I just want to show that off, Dan. It's the soup, the soup, the soup. soup. Which, the soup, the soup, the soup. So she is also your soup lady. Yes, so now it's a soup maker too. So this is Blendtec's famous tortilla soup. If you're looking at this going, okay, when I get my Blendtec blender, how am I going to know? There are recipes, there thousands are. of them at Blendtec's website, but I'm gonna give that hot soup button just a push. Yeah. We've got onion, raw. By the way, go to your crisper, grab your ingredients raw. Tomato, red pepper, onion, garlic, Monterey Jack cheese. Toss in some cumin, and away you go. This is taking fresh, raw ingredients and transforming them into incredible recipes. It, it is. By the way, it takes just a couple of minutes, so we're just going to, you know, move it a little out of range of our microphones. Because they made our microphones more sensitive in the time that you've been here, <laughs> which I'm not happy about <laughs> for more lots sensitive. of reasons. More sensitive. We're loud enough. I don't even think. <laughs> exactly, right? Who's getting who? I know. So what are you doing here, So Kate? I'm using that go jar, and I'm showing you an absolute favorite. We've got this recipe at Blendtec's website as well. So I'm taking frozen coffee. If you've got that pot of coffee that's sitting there and maybe you didn't finish it, freeze it up and I'm putting it into the go jar to make that perfect, incredible, high-end 
coffee frappe. Now, is that um, like, is that like an, do you have an almond milk? You yes, use we're using an almond milk, and okay. I'm going to show you momentarily how to make cashew milk. You can make oat milk. So instead of buying those Tetra packs yeah. of who knows what kind of <laughs> milk that's been sitting on the shelf, milk alternative, we're going to be doing it fresh. So I'm going to press that frozen margarita button. Yep. Yeah. Now, as Casey does that, I'll just remind you, uh, and thanks for the shots, guys. I know there's a lot going on with this. It's the first time back in several years that what we call on-the-go jar has its own specialized kind of grinding base. So like Casey said, it's almost like getting two blenders. So again, it has a similar concept, only kind of a scaled down design. You are also getting this. There's that unique little grinder base that is also part of the on-the-go jar. Then remember, you're also getting the famous square BPA free carafe with that flat blade design that professional restaurants and smoothie bars use. Again, you go to that smoothie king place, you know, queen, <laughs> yes. all of those places. Places, yeah. If you look behind, if you see a square carafe, it is a blend tech. They originated that. Do you already have that frozen coffee drink? I have the frozen. Watch this. I'm just going to gently guide it in here because it's 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 a true, you know what it is. I see, you know, my 19-year-old my son walks around with a big fat straw in his high-priced frozen coffee drink. And I'm saying, hey, come on. That's like half an, uh, you know, your hourly wage oh, yeah. at the restaurant that he works at and then you know we got to take it the extra mile shannon because look at on. that just like the pros do more is more in your you know what i do i add a bit of protein powder and say you know what i did my part i've added yeah. a little something exactly. something into there i feel better about it and, and how good does that look? And you will too. Here's the other thing about this. There is a 30-day unconditional money-back mm -hmm. guarantee. Listen, I know that we sell a lot of blenders in a lot of different price ranges, but I will tell you that phrase, go big or go home, this is probably mm -hmm. going to be the last blender that you will ever buy. I'm serious about that. Yeah. It probably has more wattage or power than your lawnmower. And not only that, we are doing our 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Today is the last day for five flex pay. So if you do have somebody who's gluten intolerant or just really wants to do, you know, the health thing. I mean, yeah. I'm talking about the convenience of this because it's replacing like six things. Well, but it, what are you doing there? So I've taken cashews. So if you're doing a nut milk, if you're doing almond milk, cashew milk, any type of nut milk really, soak the nuts overnight and add a little bit of vanilla, a pinch of sea salt, and you are going to get the frothiest, most delicious wholesome, incredible recipe. You can also not add the water and get a cashew butter. You oh, can do nice. your nut butters in your Blendtec blender as well. But let me show you what this looks like and then let me remind you of something. If you are already super health conscious, you probably already have a Blendtec blender yeah. because this has been a cult favorite for, abs for decades, truly decades. I've had mine since 2011, and the good news is, look how frothy that is. Look at is. how beautiful that is. Every good choice you make, and every Blendtec usage is a good choice, will be recorded on the front of your Blendtec blender. So if you use this a thousand times, it'll say a thousand. If you use wow. it 15,000 times, 15,000, and trust me, you will. But can you, can you believe okay, that? Look at how beautiful that is. Uh, almost looks like a milkshake. That's how creamy oh and, and fine this is. Um, here's the thing, and as we go, I'm just gonna do a little quantity please update as we, as we get ready to yep, show off the soup. Do. <laughs> if you want it, uh, I think, Angela, you said about 500 only. So we have 516 of that, just I think a little over 300 of the black. And then basically about 200 of the red. Casey, I think the soup is do you want ready. To grab the soup? But, yeah, in fact, let's and, and do this. And here's what we're going to do. You, I, put it in front of your apron because you've oh, got a nice yes, dark yeah, color. Do you want to do it over here? Do you okay. Want me to do it over here? Perfect. Okay, I want I, you to see look that there's at the steam. Because steam. we haven't even explained this yet, Shannon, but people are probably wondering wait, does this have an element? How is it doing this? So there you look can see the that. steam against my apron. With no heating element. No how how heating come? Element. How can it do Power. that? Friction. When you've got extreme friction, coming yeah. off that blade, you're going to get incredible results. Now, I'm going to pour it for you right here. Okay, now this bowl. is their famous Blend Tech tortilla, tortilla soup. Yep. I you... want something creamy too. Are you going to do something creamy for me? Yeah, I am. I'm going to do okay. a creamy cauliflower soup. You may never leave the home again yeah. once you learn this recipe nice. at blendtech.com. Tens of thousands actually of recipes uploaded there. Some great ones. I just saw yeah. they have a um, dupe 
for Dole Whip. Oh, you no can make a Dole Whip. I mean, like they Duke? do at the Disney parks. Exactly. Okay, so what is this again? So here we've got raw cauliflower going into this. Yep. You can Guess actually see put your cauliflower in here and do cauliflower rice. We've got veggies. We've got cheese. This is the last appliance you will ever need in your kitchen because now true. your soup maker's gone, your immersion blender's gone. Everything you need is here in this one appliance and with one press yeah. of a button. And, and don't be fooled. This isn't just about timing. One button. It's about the way the motor has a brain in it and is going to rev up and rev down and get that perfect consistency. So this isn't just a 180 second preset. It'll rev up, it'll rev down. And by the way, when it does, that's normal. You don't right. have to call customer right. service. Right, exactly. So if you hear like somebody letting up on their accelerator, yeah. we'll, we'll move this out of range of our um, microphones again, just because like I said, I'm not real happy with the microphones on. that they got because they're very sensitive, so we got to move those uh, out of range a little bit. But I guess what's important about that is it's the power. Yeah. So when you hear it cycle, remember that is a programmed setting, similar to what they do in that other blender that I, I know you know the other name. It's a great blender, but you have to do that, meaning you have to know when to use the tamper and the lever and the gizmo and the wasnut. This, you hit one button. Yeah. You hit one button. This now, is the lazy, the lazy uh, right. person's way to feel like a pro in the kitchen. Right. Super easy. With the same, or in many, depending on the model, in many cases, more power. Now, you also can do a manual override. Now, if this, stop whatever you're doing in your house. Yes. Tell them what you are doing, because that's popcorn, or, you know, okay. like corn. Anyone who's ever bitten into a kernel of corn and lost half their teeth or cracked a tooth knows how hard kernels of corn are. Yes. I put them below the blade. Right. Below the blade. Because I want to show you this insane amount of power. Why is that important? Because your recipes will turn out exactly as you want them to because this blender can handle any job. So check this out. Okay. Now, the okay. re... Wow. But the reason we're doing this is not only to demonstrate the power because, listen, we have other blenders here at HSN. We sell other blenders. The truth of the matter is, Blend Tech is what all other blenders wish they were when they grew up. And I'm not putting shame in anybody's game, but if you go to a smoothie bar, if you go to a juice bar, if you go to a restaurant, if you see that square carafe, this is it. This is what they are using. And not only that, it is the OG for a better price in history. You've turned that to dust. Okay, here comes the polenta. Here comes the cornmeal, the cornbread. Everything starts with a Blendtec blender. Think of pioneer times when they had a grain mill. Blendtec actually yeah. before blenders started with a grain mill and then moved into blenders that actually can still mill grain. Everything begins with your Blendtec blender from desserts and we're going to show you that as well. Yeah. Is my do cauliflower you, yeah, soup do you know what? done? Let's show the, show the soup Let's again. Go. Dan, we're thank you for that shot. We're looking up an appetite uh, here. Going left oh, to sorry. right. Thank you, Amanda. <laughs> um, but the soup is kind of, I'll be honest with you, the soup is what sold me when yeah. I got my Blendtec. Yeah. It really was. Because the sodium in soup is crazy. Oh. Look at that. Can we talk about how creamy. much soup we have here? Yeah. We are looking at, and it's got measurements on both sides, metric, imperial. We're looking at well over four cups. This is brimming to the top. I know. So you can put it in the refrigerator after if you wanted to store some. But can we, wow. look at this. Oh, okay, cauliflower. Creamy. Cauliflower, we had other vegetables, cheese mixed in here cheese. as well. Yep. The cauliflower soup is at Blendtex website. I'm just gonna do that for look a little bit of color. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Wow, wow, wow. You couldn't open a can of soup. No. And put it on the stove and turn on the stove and start whisking and get rid of the can shape of the blob it's and add true. the milk. I'm telling you, it's if so you good. only make soup in this, because if you have, I know you've got a can of soup in your, your pantry right now, read the sodium. In fact, in most soup, there's more sodium in a can of soup than I'm supposed to have in a day. That's no joke. So if you're just watching the sodium in your, in your life, do you have elevated blood pressure? Do you have, and again, I'm not saying this is a medical product, but you know very well if you have to watch your blood pressure, they have told you, because they've told me, watch, watch the, the sodium salt. in yeah. your diet. But I love soup. They used to call me the soup lady because I love soup so much. <laughs> but on the other side of the coin, I'm also obsessed with ice cream. Now you have to <laughs> describe what you're doing. Request. It this was is by a special Shannon request. Spe so if you go, ew, you know who to blame. 
This is Glen Tech's most spectacular soup. Let me tell us uh, ice, ice cream. Sorry, okay. let me tell you what's in it. You're going to take cabbage and turn it into a cream sickle. We are putting in cabbage. We are putting in oranges. Yep. We are putting in avocado. Yep. We are putting in more cabbage. We are putting in carrots. This is going to take like taste like one of those orange Julius type. It now, does. Now here's it, the secret. It, it, oh yeah. Okay, we've got protein powder in there too. A little splash of orange extract. Yep, orange okay, extract. does the trick. If you've got kids who want all those Look at treats, that ice. This is ice that is like dry ice. And by it's the so way, you're, you're put, I know, when you see the, if I put my tongue on that, <laughs> yeah. it would be like a return of a Christmas story. <laughs> We've had enough excitement in this studio. Yes, we have. We've had enough that. going on yeah. today. Good toy. Don't do that, Exactly. Please. Don't tempt fate, she says. You're going to press the ice cream button. Yep. And I want you to pay attention to what happens Now here. look at this. Watch how it works. It starts to rev up by itself, so it takes its time because it wants to grab the ingredients at the bottom. See what, Casey, will I, will I mess things up if I turn it to the side? Go I don't think it. I'll unplug it. Go for it. Okay, Dan, because this is a really pretty shot. Do you see from the side there? So let me just poke my giant blob okay. of ice for Sorry, I'm sec. turning things. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying not to unplug it, Amanda. I won't, don't want to, okay? I know, we've got so a, this we've got is a what system. I, and this is what I wanted you to button. see. Now do you see, now when it makes that noise, it's doing it because it's part of the program cycle. Exactly. See? So when you're at home. Oh wow. You will hear your Blendtec oh, blender wow. slow down. It will rev up, it will slow down, it will rev up. That's completely normal. You just go along with what's happening and it'll take care of the rest. But do you see how that vortex is yes. pulling it down? Okay, now this is why you requested this, Shannon, yeah. because we've done this show before. Mind you, it was three years ago. Right. And you're going to end up and with I a still remembered. <laughs> because you were the taste for America, going, wait a minute, what's in this ice cream? So yeah. if you want to make it firmer, you can add more ice. In fact, I do want to add more ice yeah. because do you know what? I oh, want sorry. it to be okay. perfect. You've made your special request. I want this to be yeah. perfect. And you know what? While that blends, maybe we can also show the mixer yeah. function because I want you guys to For see sure. kind of how it blends. Let's do brownies while we're doing the ice cream. You read my mind because remember, now Casey can walk away from this. So you hit that button. Now, of course, you, you press your always... ice cream button. Right. And then we'll step over here to right. the brownies. So we're doing baked goods. Yep. And we're doing that at the same time. So, Dan, this is the one. If, if we'll, we'll show you. Oh, perfect. He's way ahead of me. <laughs> yeah. So it's we're a good. mixer, right? So, yeah. So you're using your stand mixer at home all the time to make your baked goods. So I want to show you what you can do here. I'm just going to gently guide my flour and my cocoa and my chocolate chips and all the goodies in here, just like so. I've got a stick of butter oop, that's there as well. So then, Shannon, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop the lid on top. Okay. And notice how tight feel, um, how tight that, that feel is. Oh, and by the way, I'm glad I got this messy. It's easy to wipe clean because the buttons don't stick anywhere. Yeah. I press the batters button and I'll let that do its work. While we serve up some ice cream. Yep. And then I'll take the lid off of that in just one sec and show you my vortex of fudge. Okay. So we've got the ice cream. We've got mul multiple things going on cream here Cream sickle. <laughs> Guys, I'm telling you, this is like a frozen orange Julius cream sickle. Mm. No, I'm serious. No, it's I, unreal. And it, guess what you've got in there? Four servings of vegetables that yeah. nobody is I'm going to realize you, they that That is literally, okay. Okay, so you taste test that. Tell me what you think. That is so creamy. I'm telling you. Is it good? It is insane. It you, is insane. It's so good. Well, I think my favorite part about the mm. creamsicle ice cream is that you've got your avocado in there. You've got your protein powder. That's you could good. eat it morning, noon, and night. Oh, my gosh, that's so good. And it tastes like you're eating a, a, exactly an orange creamsicle. It does. It tastes like a creamsicle. So that's insane. So I press insane. my batter's button, and this mm. is the thickest batter there is. I'm going to take the lid off for you to look at what I call the vortex of fudge. So now you don't have to bring out the stand mixer. You've got this perfect, super uber thick batter that is like mud. It's actually it, it like is. cement. Now, if you had another blender that wasn't a Blendtec blender, 
You'd be looking, smelling the It'd smoke. It'd be burning out the motor. Now, let me tell you, you, speaking of burning out motors, why that won't happen with your blend type blender. Oh, that's true. I forgot about because that. Because we've got an all-metal drive socket. Do you know what the El Cheapo blenders have? Plastic. Plastic. So here's the option I always say to people when they go, you know, blend type blenders are an investment. I go, yeah, it's like a buy it once and never buy it again. It's true. <laughs> versus a buy one every six months and curse it because it's not doing the job yeah. with anything that's not this quality. Look, but look at, at that. Can we talk about we can. This Casey, is we've only got about a minute remaining. If perfect. we can sneak that one more demo, uh, Angela, what, 500 or what? Oh, oh. Okay, fewer what? than 500 available. Um, red is almost gone. I think we've got a little over last 200 of the red, uh, balance of which is in the black. I don't know when or if this is going to be back. Do it now. There's a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Nice. Remember, you also get that on-the-go um, blender that actually has its own little blade mm -hmm. system. And because that is like a direct drive contact, it's a exactly. metal um, pivot point. So it's not plastic that can melt or burr, you know, burn up or things like that. So one touch button, do we have time for the avocados? And we're done with that, that's how fast that one is. The avocado, pulse, pulse, pulse. Yeah. You do have the pulse button. You and got it. What I wanted to show you with this is avocado toast in a flash. Nice. So now you're not mashing away with your hands, you get that perfect avocado toast whenever you want it. It's all about having the right tool, and I think Blendtec having been around for oh, yeah. so many years now, uh, is really such a perfect kitchen appliance. That's cherries. Cherry Love juice, it. cherries, the works. All right, avocado toast and cheers Ooh. to you. Casey, welcome back. <laughs> Get up before. <laughs>